Welcome to a video from the thedishlifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is build 22533 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel Just a few changes on this that are worth showing And the first one is they finally got rid of the Windows 8 style volume uh, fly out So as I'm pressing the volume up and volume down you can see that on there the Windows 8 one was the one that was up in this top left which is the very square one and uh, they finally got rid of that and same for brightness as well there's the the brightness one so that's great to see that finally that's been updated to the Windows 11 style I don't remember seeing that before the uh, select output on there as well so that's so you can select your audio output but that's good to see that those those have been changed they also respect light and dark mode as well which is which is good now just a few other changes to it uh, you can search for voice access from the taskbar and pin on on that so you can have voice access pinned on here they're expanding the touch themes uh, keyboards to additional language and uh, when you press when you press Windows X you see instead of that saying uh, the old style apps and features it now says um, installed apps and takes you to that as well the other thing they've done as well is you can uh, you can get rid of the clock as well you can uninstall the clock so the rest of the changes are just fixes they fix an issue with some driver updates that may cause a, uh, an error during the install a 0x error so they've sorted that out they fix some issues where you're unable to sign into the feedback hub and um, Windows security has been updated so it doesn't always so it doesn't say Windows 10 it just says Windows and they fixed an issue with some not being able to import photos from certain cameras um, uh, that's from the photos app so you fire up the photos app you can import them and they fix fix some issues with that and they fix some issues with uh, sandbox the other thing they've changed as well is the Wi-Fi indicator should be more reliable this is uh, on LAN at the moment but that's it been improved and if you have multiple monitors connected to your PC and the date and time on the taskbar on your primary monitor if you have multiple monitors connected to your PC and right click on the date time on your primary monitor explore and not crash so I've got dual monitors up and if I right click on here um, it won't crash um, that it would do before and they fixed some issues with settings as well Still, um, there's an issue with setting. Look at that, you've got a little blank entry on there. I don't know what that actually does. Interesting, must be for something for coming there. That's a known issue, and that, that's, that'll be fixed. Uh, there's a couple of issues with widgets and some others. So, that's it. So, I'm really um, pleased to see this volume indicator and brightness indicator being improved in Windows 11. I know it's a little thing, but it does look a lot better. So, thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com. I'm at iStixon on Twitter.